An entry at Monroe Community Church is inspired by the people of Ukraine. Michelle DeSelms met the artist. Why'd you decide to come back this year? Um, I had, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking to the people. I enjoyed um, communicating with them. I love hearing what children have to say as well. So I would ask them, what do you see? And I just find that fascinating. Do they give different answers than adults do? Do you feel like they see more? They do see more. And I notice that even with my grandchildren. Um, I teach them art. And during COVID, they lived with me. So their whole, uh, we moved our whole family in together. And so we um, live on my studios on Sanford Lake. And that was the one that got hit by the 500-year flood. And we, I lost my studio and we lost the bottom part of our brand new house. So while they were living there before the flood happened, we'd go into the studio and work and just, I would say, what do you think about this and what do you see? And I tended to do that with the students and I also did it with the kids that came to Art Prize last year. And I'd have them write down what they saw. And it was amazing. It, so I enjoy that. So I'm hoping we'll get a lot of the same thing here. Does that make you then see your art differently? Or even when you're creating it, do you feel like that makes you create it in a different way? Um, I don't know that it makes me create it in a different way, but it helps me to see through other people's eyes. And um, just even in communicating this, when I put it on, on Facebook and on Instagram, and I, a lot of times I'll just throw out the question, what do you see? And then I get, I get answers back and a lot of times I'll say I'm looking for a name for a piece and then it's really interesting to hear the names that people will give you for the piece like this one if I were to ask you what do you see in, in this piece right now what would you what would you tell me I would say um, strength and hope and maybe it's because I um, but resilience is what it's called right it is. It's called yeah resilience. so so that's interesting because I didn't go right to that word but it does feel like that mm. that was the hope and it started out with the colors of the Ukrainian flag and then it morphed from there because I kept thinking well we're resilient human kind is resilient what else are we resilient about and as I'm thinking that I really work in a meditative way so I'm working with very very tiny needles and this is all felted and I paint and draw with these double pointed needles that um, that hook the fabrics together the fibers together so it's a really long process and as I was working on it I started seeing more about the universe and how we're resilient in many ways and in there I see flood I see fire I see all the things that we're resilient as a people for and it started out being about the Ukrainians and hoping that they will maintain their resilience um, I've known some people that are from there and in talking to them that's their hope as well so it started out that way but then it became more about all of us as a people and we're all in this together. We need to all be resilient. Yeah, we sure do. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for talking Thank to you. me. Appreciate it.